males stabbed a female um, with a sword. Domestic abuse devastates lives. It was either going to kill me or it was going to kill both of us. It's just been an argument. And it's in every community, unseen, underreported. Every minute of every day, somewhere, someone is calling the police about domestic abuse. Northumbria police are on the case with a dedicated domestic violence patrol. Police officer Ashley Goldhawk and civilian Joanne Brown, a specialist support worker. I know one of the women and I know that the perpetrator is capable of killing her. We're on the road with them and it's non-stop. There's a, um, a third one coming. So that's three domestic violence incidents within three minutes. That all three must still on board. This force alone deals with some 80 cases of domestic violence every 24 hours. <coughs> We're on a 999 call. A woman has told police she's been attacked by her partner with a large knife. We know that she's definitely got a probably about a one centimetre cut underneath her chin. Um, she's got a four inch cut slash mark laceration at the back of her neck. Um, she's got defensive wounds on her hands and on the bottom of her arms. We watch as police move in. Police officers, we've got tasers. But the man has already run away. Later, though, we hear he has been tracked down and arrested. On to the next call. He's got the back of a hand. At every scene, every time, the priority is to remove the alleged perpetrator so that Ashley and the DV team can move in. And then we get the rare opportunity to talk to the woman, a healthcare professional who suffered for years. As a professional, I'm aware of the services and never ever thought that I would need to use the services but tonight I've needed to use them services and it, it's helped me a lot. People will want to know are you okay? Uh, I, I have been a victim of domestic violence in the past. I have been a, a victim. But all of this, the violence, the assaults, the police are just part of the picture because at the heart of domestic abuse is this controlling, coercive behaviour aimed at dominating every aspect of a victim's life. The domestic abuse specialist can help police spot this coercive control, which can be monitoring phone calls and texts, restricting contact with family and friends and controlling of finances, and all of it underpinned by threats and intimidation. Lots of victims will say, well, you can't see any of that, so nobody would know. But I think if we all have an understanding of what happens in a victim's life, day in, day out, and what controls that person, what keeps them where they are, then we're on the way to helping that person get out of that relationship. He quite frequently used me um, as a punch bag. Linda's ex-partner is serving 10 years in prison after she suffered not only serious violence, but also the extreme psychological and emotional abuse that is coercive control. He killed my dog, um, and I had to witness that. What did he do? Uh, he, he, he beat the dog to death with his fists. Back on the streets, we're called to the city centre. Does she want to speak to the DV woman like that? Every officer here is trained not just in dealing with domestic violence... You had an argument with your girlfriend. ..but also in coercive control, which is now a new criminal offence with a maximum sentence of five years. We do need to convict people of this so that we can send out a further message to others. This will not now be tolerated. It's not. It's a crime. It's hoped that the new law will help police intervene before abuse becomes violence and that victims will be spared years, even decades, of living in fear. Jeremy Cook, BBC News, Wearside. And for anyone who has been affected by any of the issues covered in Jeremy's report there, you can call the 24-hour National Domestic Violence Helpline, the number for you, uh, 0808 2000 247. That's uh, 0808 2000 247.